she's off in the distance over there and we're going to have her run the dreaded gauntlet. So we're going to come stand on this grass. Right, whenever you're ready. Sit. So we've got Teddy down here, Sammy down here. And if you feel him cutting across you a little bit, walk into him. Just give him a little nudge with your leg just to let him know that you're there. Yeah, so it's don't, you don't have to sandwich him, but don't let him push into you. Yeah, push back. Yeah, so whenever you're ready. So he's looking. It's hard to see because he's a Rottweiler. So I'll walk you through it. He's looking, but his mouth's open. He's in a relaxed state, but his tail's up. So he's a bit intense. Right, communicate with him now. See so that his mouth's shut and then Right, and then walk forward, yeah? Because his mouth shut, that communication was perfect. Now, and then move forward again. And when you get to the end of the road and it's safe to do so, you're gonna make a huge fuss of him, yeah? Those little moments, twice he shut his mouth, twice he was fixated, twice he was gonna make a fuss, yeah? Sorry, not a fuss, Fight twice he was gonna kick off. That was perfect, yeah? We're setting up scenarios, so we're practicing scenarios where you can stop and help him out, where you don't have to move forward, but sometimes you have no choice. Sometimes you're gonna to have to keep moving forward because it's the real world we live in. We're not in a classroom, yeah? We're not walking at midnight when there's no dogs around, and we're not not taking him for a walk, yeah? Unfortunately, in the real world, you have to deal with people coming out of nowhere. So we're teaching you what to do when, there's some, when you haven't got a choice but to keep moving. And we're showing you what to do to help him when you have got space. Yeah, that was perfect.